Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to see how we can play Tekken 3 using Bluetooth keyboard. So I will be using our two main application in this. First is the emulator, which is uh, this one, PSX E. And uh, second thing, uh, I will be using uh, Octopus key mapper. So uh, these are the two things which I will be using. So uh, if you have ever uh, play any emulation uh, program in Android, you should know that how we can uh, play uh, different types of games which are supported by that emulator. So let me just show you uh, how it will look like. So this is PS2. So before uh, going into this you should be uh, you should make sure yourself that uh, you are able to run any game so uh, this is how you can play game and it's it going to list like that and then it will start showing it so as you can see uh, these are the key map if you can see on the right side you have my cursor is not working here because of this game thing okay uh, it's now here so this is one pad <coughs> and uh, this is some more buttons and uh, I think my cursor is not able to go there and on the right side if you can see showing a bunch of other buttons like triangle and square x and zero so this is the thing which we need to map it to our uh, new emulator oh so i need to just uh, first uh, cross this up so basically uh, what uh, we are going to do is uh, uh, the soft buttons which you have seen uh, on a touch on a screen is uh, like uh, buttons uh, by uh, by which uh, you uh, try to uh, play the game but uh, what we need to do is we need to map our bluetooth keyboard uh, so that it can simulate the same behavior uh, like we uh, if we play the game on the emulator so if i press uh, like a key it will simulate the key uh, which is uh, visible on that screen so for that uh, there is a very nice application in the market which is octopus key mapper so uh, when you click on it it will uh, be open um, i am using free app for now so uh, it's full of ad and uh, I will not uh, I mistakenly, mistakenly uh, click one of the ad so that's how it will look like I will just uh, do not now and in this uh, you can see uh, it will show few inputs like connect and uh, Y12 this is my Bluetooth and when you template which is I'm using for showing the cursor and I will just uh, turn on my Bluetooth keyboard as well. And uh, now you can see uh, it also contains a keyboard K480. So this is the keyboard I will be using. So in order to get started, first you need to uh, go to my game section and uh, choose the game which you want to play using your Bluetooth keyboard. So let's just create, uh, uh, click on the add button and inside that add button you will see bunch of applications uh, in which uh, you can find the game which you want to play so like uh, you can see uh, i have added this uh, epsxe uh, ps emulator in this so once you add it uh, it will show it in here so one thing you need to make sure that uh, whenever you wants to use this octopus you need to start your playstation or any game from this application only because uh, if you don't do that uh, you try to open it here and then uh, open your uh, 
PlayStation emulator some from somewhere else so it won't work so it will uh, create a kind of a overlap application menu which will be used for uh, mapping the thing so let me just uh, click on it and uh, then we will see uh, where we were yes so I will just uh, click on this EPX so now uh, it will not going to like run just after clicking it uh, because it's a free version we need to watch a video of 30 seconds so let me just click on the watch button so it will show some ad guys i found this amazing app it shows you who has blocked you it's on instagram and how many times the person has viewed your story it also accurately shows you and who's looking you like at your apps, instagram you profile purchase, if you're as curious about your instagram the, profile as i am then something. definitely download this app i might buy it if i find it consistent so now you can click on this cross button and it will show you like uh, it's not fixed the google play service is not working or similar stuffs like that because it's a trial uh, i mean free version you won't be able to do that so you just need to choose the skip button or you can choose skip and never remind again i will just choose sick skip so after clicking that it will launch our emulator and if you can see uh, there is a cute little octopus visible here so this is uh, the octopus which will, will which will help us to uh, map our key to the keyboard so once you click on this octopus it will show a couple of options and uh, and using those options you are able to map it so i will just uh, click on i think uh, on settings uh, this is not what i'm after so add uh, not this one so i will uh, so inside that uh, we need to use keyboard now i try to add it uh, my mosquito kind of input device in this uh, so uh, for this tutorial I will be using this keyboard so when we click on this keyboard as you can see I have already mapped this taken three um, key map to this and I will just choose okay so after choosing that you need to click on write and now your key is map and uh, let's just run the game click on the game and now it will start doing that and now you can see uh, uh, there is W A this is the overlap buttons on it and now this is space and similarly you have uh, o, on the right side you have O L X so how we able to map this uh, let me just show you uh, you need to click on the octopus okay and then on that you need to click on add so this is the keys uh, key option which you need to choose so you can you choose a key so you can drag this key and uh, place it wherever you think uh, there might be an input of that so i will just uh, click so similarly uh, i have added of uh, my keys l i k o so when you do that uh, it will start blinking and you can just uh, do it for a couple of more things like uh, here so wherever your touch input is there uh, you just you just need to uh, drag that input and place it into that so like uh, if you can see uh, there is an option button and i have not uh, mapped that so i will just uh, drag that to the option button and then when i click on it it will ask for mapping key so i will just use uh, z for now so i uh, like click on my keyboard z and it will display it here 
So after doing that, uh, you will be able to see that uh, we have a couple of key mapped like W A S D and now Z for option and space for enter and then I O K L. So uh, above P is not uh, useful, so I will just leave it like that. And when you click on the right button, it will get mapped. So now I can uh, press space from my keyboard and as you can see it's kind of highlighted it and uh, for uh, arrows I have used uh, W S for down and up and uh, I mean up and down and A for right uh, left and right so uh, now and then uh, I will use uh, O button I think for getting or selected the thing uh, let me just do it again and click on this and now I need to choose player so one of my favorite taekwondo player and this is the thing so I'm uh, the, uh, the application uh, which is running the emulator is uh, thinking that uh, I'm pressing round one in keyboard Fight. But in reality what we are doing is we are is hover wrong. So, uh, uh, like what I was saying, what it will do is uh, it will just uh, you round two fight. It will just do uh, when I, whenever I uh, press any key from the keyboard, it will go to the this octopus, and octopus will simulate a click on the screen. So basically, uh, your app will never know that uh, from where you are inputting it. Uh, you can use this application I think pretty much on all games uh, not PUBG I think uh, because I have read somewhere that uh, PUBG is blocking this octopus app on on their uh, game so they are always uh, like blocking thing happens if they think that uh, something uh, is you know uh, abusing their games play and all so uh, I think that's all the thing and uh, I guess you get the idea how you can uh, add a Bluetooth keyboard uh, to your ESPX using Octopus mapping app. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. If you have any comment regarding the software or anything like that, please tell me. I will try to solve them as quick as possible. So thanks you. Bye. Take care.